Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, over the past few weeks, we've been talking about different tools and things that really tie into lead generation. Well, questions are coming to me that really deal with lead follow-up. And that's a great thing because, you know, lead gen is important, but lead follow-up is even more important because that's really how you tie down the relationship short-term and long-term. So I have three tips for you today that will help you with more effective lead follow-up. All right, let's jump right in. First of all, as we talk about building relationships and really being able to follow up in an effective way, my first tip to you is to help you get people's attention is to be authentic. If you really want to get someone's attention and you're starting to communicate with them, you got to be authentic. Let me give you an example. You know, there's many charities in the world, quality charities that people support. There's no wrong or right which charity that you're passionate about, but there's certainly differences. You can have two different people that are passionate about two different charities and they're coming from the same loving place, but they have different focuses. That's a great thing, that's America, that's the world, that's a beautiful thing. So how does this tie back to you being authentic? Don't try and match up with what everyone is thinking or loving out there, be you. When you start talking about things that you're passionate about and excited about, guess what? You will attract the people who are excited and passionate about those same things. And so when you're doing a lead follow-up and you're really authentic about what you love, trust me, it will bleed through. And some people who maybe didn't have that love or attraction before saying, you know what? Wow, that is great. And I can see it even on social media. They can see that this is what you're excited about as an individual. The next thing about getting their attention is stay relevant. And you know, in my opinion, the only way to really stay relevant is you've communicated and you've asked great questions to learn more about that individual of what is their hot buttons. So when you talk about certain aspects about real estate or the business in general, you're staying relevant, okay, to what's important to that individual. Number two, true value. The hardest part is creating value because everyone measures value differently. That's why we have to be great listeners because the better we listen to the consumer, the more we learn of what they see as valuable. Two items that I want you to think about when you're trying to create value. That is one, their specific wants and needs. I didn't say what you think their specific wants and needs are. I'm telling you their specific wants and needs. And if you don't know those, then wow, what great questions to really talk about and drill down to. Remember, utilize think, feel, know to drill down to what's really important to those clients. The more information you have of what's really important to them, well, you have their specific wants and needs, and I promise you, it's much easier to drive true value. The, nether, uh, the next aspect under value is timing. Listen, you know what? Not everyone's timing's the same. Don't get frustrated about this. Understand it, okay? And know that it's not a bad thing, okay, that someone is potentially waiting for their specific reasons of when they're, they're going to buy and sell real estate. Don't be frustrated, okay? Understand it and then work within that time frame to build that relationship short term and long term. I promise you, wins can come out through that whole relationship if your mindset is in that place. And last but certainly not least, inspire good decision making. When you inspire good decision making, you're leading them down a positive path where you can help them make good decisions. How do you do that? Well, you start with your credibility, your success and your passion in how you deliver your message. See, when you use real facts of record and you just don't go in there shooting from the hip, now you're building that credibility. First of all, you understand their true wants and needs, okay? So you've got that real value and now you're adding that credibility and that success that you bring to the table. Do you see how this all blends in that keeps that lead follow-up moving in a positive direction? You know, building relationships is really fun 
if you look at it in the right way. And not only can it be fun for you, but it can consistently bring you more and more business. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.